Hello, good people of YouTube. Mount Benton here, and today I have a replay from Nabo in the Tier 9 Premium French Battleship Jean Bar. And you see her on the Shatter map. Alright, so the Jean Bar, this ship is no stranger to this channel. Those of you that have been here for some time, you know how much I do like this ship. Uh, this is actually one of these ships you can get in the Armory for Coal, and I feel that it is very, very, very much well worth it. It's a fantastic ship, and I'm going to run you through some of her features real quick uh, before Nabo gets into battle. So, the Jean Bar is a Richelieu class battleship that has been up tier to tier 9, and has been given steroids in the, in the, in, in the process. So, the Jean Bar is the 1950s refit of the Richelieu class. And since it is the 1950s refit, she has better A, better secondaries, her main battery guns are way more accurate, and plus her reload is quicker than the Richelieu. She has a 22 second reload, and um, if you, or it's 23, 24, you'll see when Nabo fires. If you go with main battery mod 3, you can get that down to around 20 seconds flat. And she also has, if you look on the Y key when the hug comes back up after I take the uh, thumbnail, you can see that it has main battery reload booster which means if you have this ship's reload down to about 20 ish seconds when you pop that it's going to cut that reload time in half which means you'll have a 10 second reload now if you throw adrenaline rush on top of that your reload is going to get quicker as you lose health in the ship and, sh and since the hull for the ship is pretty much still the same as the Richelieu's hull and this is a tier 9, you'll be seeing tier 10 games most of the time, I mean, so do tier 8, but anyway the way the ship takes damage, you're going to have a really fast reload really quickly and then when you pop that main battery mod, uh, that main battery reload booster you're just going to have like a 8 or a 7 second reload depending upon how low your health is and it's absolutely mental the just damage potential of the Jean Bar. And it's a great credit earner, a great captain trainer for the French battleships, and just an amazing ship all the way around. So anyway, this is the Shatter map, and Nabo is going to around the Sea Cap. The Sea Cap is definitely the cap I more enjoy playing at on this map because you can do some pretty nice shenanigans with the corner right there that Nabo is looking at on the Sea Cap. Usually what happens here is two fleets will bunch up right there just waiting for the other one to make their move and usually you have two or three ships that decide it's time to charge, go around the corner. It's some pretty good fun and you also have to watch out for getting a face full of torpedoes as you can see right now. So Nabu, it, it has his eye on this Amagi out to the his left. There he is right there. Now, this is a profile you do not want to be giving a Jean Bar because of that main battery reload booster and the fact that this is a French battleship and it has French velocity. Unfortunately, Nabu does give this Amagi too much lead. Now, French velocity means that the Jean Bar's guns can beat the crap out of most battleships and some heavier armored cruisers. And with the main battery reload booster, you don't want three quick salvos of eight 15 inch guns in your broadside it it's gonna suck <laughs> now that does also mean that well, that's a really nice dispersion there that does also mean that if you shoot at a cruiser you are more than likely going to overpin it if it shows you a flat broadside now, unfortunately here um nabo loads he but it is, he does pop the uh reload booster to b switch over to ap quite quickly but if he had ap loaded right there well he did it aim for the super strong so maybe not but uh, the salvo would have been much better if he had ap but we all make that mistake and that's why i usually, usually just keep ap loaded in my battleships unless i'm getting in a bow tanking situation so the amagi slips behind the island right there and nabo is watching him because the amagi is not the hardest ship in the world to citadel Especially if you have guns like the Jean Bars. So he's waiting for him to come flying across the corner of that island, which it looks like he is still keeping up at a good speed right there. So let's see. Yep, he uses a, a cheeky little map hacks there. It's not really hacks, just what I like to call it. And then it looks like his internet freezes up for a second. <laughs> anyway, now we are back. And. Oh, oh hi, Alaska! I can't imagine this Alaska is probably regretting his decision right now because the Alaska is one of those cruisers that is armored thickly enough to where the Jabbar can absolutely beat it. Now, Nabo did, it looks like he did anticipate the Alaska to pull forward a bit more, but the Alaska decided to slam into reverse. 
and that was the better decision for the Alaska. Now Naboo's keeping on him, keeping him locked on. It looks like his, his shells will make make connection according to, to, to the terrain indicator, but then the Alaska goes undetected, so Alaska gets away for now. So the tactical situation is that, oh, well, the enemy team just lost a ship, and both teams have one cap, and the A cap is still open. The A cap usually stays open for most of the game, since it is the easiest to access out of the three caps on this map. C has this giant island in this in the middle, and usually whatever team gets there first is the one that caps it. B is usually up to whoever's brave enough to actually go in there to cap it. So, pretty even fight right now. Seven minutes in, only one destroyer is gone. Looks like Nebula's team only got one destroyer, period. That's interesting. And Nebula's internet seems to have a stroke here again. But anyway, so at the sea cap, there is one, two, three, four, five, six enemy ships at the sea cap. And there are five friendly ships here as well. So the majority of the force is here at the sea cap. And looks like Nebula's still hanging around here. He's going into the sea cap right now. Because if he, as long as he can contest this, since his team has one cap and the other cap is unclaimed, this will stop the the enemy team's point gain and give his team the advantage and allow them to build up a points lead. I would say he's looking at that Alaska again and waiting for him to either come around the corner or slip up or something. And if you look at the mini map now, most of Naboo's team is heading over west. There is one cruiser that's sticking around here at sea with him. There's one battleship that seems to be charging the enemy team from behind, which when you're that outnumbered, I appreciate a brave charge as much as the next guy, but you may want to wait till their numbers get whittled down a bit before you go in and charge like that. So this hipper looks like he's coming around the corner of the island. He, I, I'm thinking that's the hipper's hydro that is detecting Na uh, Nabo right now. Oh, there's another Jean Bar. There are six Jean Bars in this game, by the way. <laughs> uh, I should have mentioned that at the beginning, but yeah, it's three per team. And if that Jean Bar keeps on the course that he's going on, he's going to give Nabo a really nice shot at his broadside. But Nabo is detected, and I would be surprised if... Yeah, it looks like he's turning in a little bit. Yep, there he goes. That Jean Bar is now turning in to bow tank. Nabo. And looks like Nabo's waiting to see how hard he's going to turn. He's going to just charge at him. He's going to turn and go back the other way. Because if he turns around completely, he could, he's going to give Nabo a but Now he's just going to go straight in at Nabo. But Nabo is still halting the enemy team's point gain right now, which is very good. Gets one side with AP off, switch over to HE. And this is a situation where I would switch to HE as well. And that Jean Bar opens up a little bit. Looks like he's making a run for that island, but he's still staying angled enough to where Nabo would just bounce shells off his bow if he was firing AP. Jean Bar actually dusts that. Looks like I guess that that was the fight of fighters that someone spot uh, put up just to see if there's any other ships hanging around here with Nabo. Nabo pops the engine booster to pull back behind this the corner of the island. I'm assuming he did that because he doesn't want to eat a face full of torpedoes. He's asking for help with this one Jean Bar because slowly whittling away a battleship's health with HE and another battleship is quite a long and boring process. <laughs> so now but still back up. He now he is actually capping the C cap. So that lets him know that there's no one within the radius of the C cap on either side of the island. So he can kind of hug the island with some more confidence now. Because he knows the destroyers are gonna come flying around the corner and shoving torpedoes into his face. So he has no spotting on this flank right now, so he has no idea what that other Jean Bar is doing. Oh, he's going behind the island. And looks oh he he lets that salvo go and again he just wings him there with a couple of overpins. That would have been a really nice shot if he had some spotting and he knew that the Jean Bar was giving him that much broadside. So he's still capping this cap, which means there are still no enemies on their side of the island in the cap. And his team is currently down two battleships and a cruiser. And your team is only down a destroyer and a cruiser. And there went another cruiser. And now about side. Oh, hello, Alaska. That is the same Alaska from before, Alvis. And he's come out to play now. Showing Nabo a decent amount of broadside. But unfortunately, since the Jambar does only have 15-inch guns, the Alaska bounced four of those shots and only took one overpin. 
At this point, that Nabal seems that he has decided that he wants to go for it. But then he gets outflanked by the other Jean Bar from before. Again, an awkward situation. Jean Bar showing a fair amount of broadside. He aims, he aimed a little bit too high there. And he gets a couple of pins, but one non pin and another bounce. Now, this Alaska has a choice to make. Either go and run, he can either go and run behind the island or go straight at Nabao. He chooses to go straight at Nabao. And, well, this is a pretty spicy situation that Nabao is in. Oh, look, the Ismo has joined. The player three has entered the, the fray now. But then the Alaska goofs up and sells straight past Nabao. <laughs> or tries to sell straight past Nabao. And Nabao absolutely erases him from the naval registry. Now, Nabao is in a, still in a tight situation. The Ismo has joined the fray. And the Ismo, I know I rag on it a lot. But it is no joke now after it has received many, many buffs. It's quite a fearsome ship. And now Nabao has to somehow figure out how not to just get deleted in between an Ismo and another Jean Bar. So he throws some HG in the Ismo's face and looks like he's playing with his throttle here, trying to mess up Ismo's shots. It looks like it works. Ismo missed him completely. So it looks like he's going to lay on the... Yep, he's laying on the gas now. He's loading AP again. Ismo's opening up a little bit, but Ismo has some really, really good belt armor. So now this enemy Jean Bar looks like he's going for the drive-by on Nabao. Nabal's turning really hard, so the enemy Jean Bar is now turning to avoid a potential ramming situation. Nabal's getting his turrets turned over toward this Jean Bar. So the Jean Bar sells right by him. Nabal's turrets are, are turning to be in the perfect position right now. And I bet the Jean Bar is probably regretting his life choices about now. And Nabal deletes him again. <laughs> That's another devastating strike medal. So now, he has to deal with this Ismo. His heal just come off cooldown. He's now getting his health back. So that's two dev strikes down. And now he has to deal with this Ismo. Again, Ismo is quite... Oh. Yeah, well, he got off easy on that salvo. Now, Ismo is quite the potent ship now. Its main battery guns have been buffed. The pins have been buffed. The dispersion has been buffed on it. Its deck armor has been buffed. So it's not as big of a joke as it used to be. So it is now just Nabao and this one friendly cruiser he has over here against the Ismo. And Nabao's on pretty dang low health. But the Ismo turns in toward the cruiser. It is in Alaska, so it looks like the Ismo is trying to bow tank the Alaska shells and try to get Nabao to bounce his shells off of his belt armor. And... He's almost getting quite spicy here between the HE from Nabao and the Alaska. Looks like he's having trouble deciding who he wants to shoot. Nabao or the Alaska? Nabao or the Alaska? Nabao throws some AP into his broadside. Again, this one has really nice armor. Ooh, really nice broadside right here. Because the Ismo's turning in on the Alaska. So the Alaska's trying to get at the Ismo Citadel too. Really good shot here for Nabao, and ooh, good hit. 14,000 damage off of the Ismo. He loads up. He's still got the kill for it, thankfully, because he did set that fire on it. Player 4 has now entered the game in the form of this Georgia. <laughs> Nabao can't catch a break. He was having a very slow game, but now suddenly it's turned into this insane brawl fest. And it's not over yet. He's got this Georgia coming up here. So he pops his speed boost, pops his heal. And the Georgia, the new tier 9, you guys know I also love this ship. Six 18-inch guns, great brawler, not a ship to be messing around with in a close in a, in a close fight. Especially when you have this low of health. But this Georgia seems to have forgot the concept of, oh, I don't know, not showing you a perfect broadside to a battleship from under a kilometer away. And absolutely <laughs> gets destroyed by Nabao. That is nine citadels this game for Nabao. Three devastating strikes, four kills, 210,000 damage. The game's not over with yet. There's still two enemy ships left on the enemy team. The game's lost for the enemy team by now. But Nabao, Nabao wants to just finish this absolutely perfect game with a Kraken. He's one kill away from it. The Yu Yang, enemy Yu Yang just sunk the friendly Jean Bar. And there's the Kronstadt in the, different, in the, in the distance. Kronstadt... It's a fairly tough cruiser, but 
eh, he gets that to the side, he can easily delete it, just like its bigger brother, the Stalingrad. And the battle has popped at speed boost, he is now sailing as fast as he can over to the ACAP. And yes, Naval, you are going on YouTube. A Kraken really would just cement this as probably one of the best games I've ever seen in World of Warships. <laughs> three death strikes, four kills so far, and three of those, uh, two of those death strikes were. It, that was a hard fight that he had to, that he had, that he had to go through to get those two death strikes. That that third one, the George. I don't know what that Georgia player was thinking. I, well, I guess he actually wasn't thinking at the time. <laughs> but still, just a great game from Nabal so far. So the situation with the Kronstadt is that it's, of course, the last ship alive. Everyone wants to shoot at it, and Nabal is trying to negotiate with the Kronstadt and his team to allow him to get his Kraken. Now, the Alsace clearly wants this guy dead because he is pursuing him with his engine boost active, as you see there by the black smoke coming out of his funnel. But if you notice on the main map, the Jean Bar is kind of playing ring at the Jean Bar. The Kronstadt is kind of playing ring around the rosy with the Alsace. He's last spotted in the C cap, and let's see, Alsace is just going around the corner of that island now, and yep, the Kronstadt is running away from him, which means the Kronstadt will be coming by showing Nabal his broadside pretty soon. Perfect situation for Nabal, he can get his Kraken and just put the bow on the top of this game. And Alsace is still chasing him. He's coming around the side. Nabal's still asking Alsace if he can have the the Kraken for for his all his troubles he's gone through this game. And everyone wants this guy dead, of course, last ship alive. Here he comes, six kilometers away. And perfect broadside. Nabal takes the shot. And Orange user says no. But fortunately he does have his reload booster handy. He has activated that. 2,000 health left, 1,700 health left, and as he pulls the trigger on it, Alsace gets the kill on the Kronstadt. That's okay, Nabal, no worries. That was still an absolutely amazing game there. Some amazing close quarters action from the Jean Bar from Nabal. And my dude, I would have been just thrilled if that was my game, Kraken or not. That was just crazy that that match was crazy he went from just minding his own business to having to fight pretty much three ships at the same time and then that clueless georgia that was absolutely hilarious nabal just shoved his stuff in but again nabal great game great replay thanks for sending it in and if you have a replay you'd like to send in send it to the email link down below if you enjoyed the video drop a like leave a comment and subscribe we're on our way to 4,000 subscribers and we are closing in on just being 300 subs away from that goal. Alright guys, hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. Hope to catch all of you guys in the next one.